These are the top five natural structures for surf fishing at the beach. Identifying structure is simple and you can quickly learn to find the best areas to fish. Stay to the end of the video and I will include a bonus natural structure, which also happens to be the easiest to locate. Number five, sandbars. The very moment I step out onto the beach, I stop to observe what the surf is doing. The first thing I look for is crashing waves as this is a dead giveaway where the sandbars are located. Sandbars are the skeleton of the surf and play such a vital role in directing the flow of fish. Any experienced fisherman likes a little wind at the beach as this can quickly reveal where the structure is located. As with all structure in the surf, sandbars can change over the course of time as storms churn up and relocate the sand. Along the Gulf Coast of Florida, you don't need to wade out into the water to cast as most of the sandbars are casting distance from shore. While sight feeders like Pompano quickly navigate the surf in schools looking for easy targets, red drum, black drum, and stingrays are known for cruising close to sandbars as they are stealthy hunters. They glide close to the sandy ocean floor searching for an easy bait to pick off. Fishing the edge of the sandbar, where the structure meets the deep water, is a great area if you're looking to land a trophy drum. Number 4. Troughs or Guts Troughs or guts are the deeper zones between sandbars. You will see waves breaking over sandbars and dissipating over troughs. Troughs are the highways of the surf and this is where the majority of Pompano are swimming. What most new surf fishermen don't realize is that fish can be caught in the trough literally feet from shore. Remember that you don't have to cast a cuba to find fish and you don't need a 12 or 13 foot rod to catch the fish. If you're new to the sport, then bring your seven foot casting rod and begin to experiment with finding feeding zones. Zone awareness is the process of locating which zone the fish are feeding. This tactic is very important for finding the fish in troughs. Watch the video linked in the description below for a detailed explanation of zone awareness from Bama Beach Bum. Number three, cuts. Cuts are breaks in the sandbar that connect troughs to each other or a trough to open water. Cuts make excellent ambush zones for predatory fish like red drum, black drum, sharks, jack crevel, and other species that migrate through the surf. If you scan your eyes across waves breaking on a sandbar, you will begin to notice these gaps at various areas along the beach. If you're fishing with live bait or lures that have a long casting range, I recommend targeting the cuts. If the predator fish are hunting in the surf and your bait presentation is clean, you're going to have an excellent shot at landing a trophy fish. Number two, holes. Holes are deep pockets of water that can be found at any location in the surf. These deep areas of water are easier to find if the water is clean, the sun is out, and you're wearing a pair of polarized sunglasses. Holes are one of my favorite areas to target as the fish like to school up and feed in these pockets. Here along the Gulf Coast, whiting are drawn to holes close to shore. And once you catch one whiting, you can typically throw your bait back to the same spot for more action. You can also find holes along the sandbar. From my experience, this is where you should toss one of your set rigs. If water clarity and weather are less than ideal, you can spot holes along the sandbar as the waves break like a cut. But the flat surf will also extend before and after the bar. Before moving on to number one, consider subscribing to my channel for more surf fishing tips, tricks, and reviews. Number one, rip currents. Rip currents are the most powerful element in the surf as their job is to recycle incoming water back into the ocean. When this powerful force pulls water back into the ocean, it also drags out the helpless little baits in its path. The predator fish target these hotspots and fill up on the crustaceans and bait fish as they get dragged out to sea. While rip currents are dangerous to swimmers and are the leading cause of beach fatalities every year, these forces of nature create one of the strongest feeding zones in the surf. If you want to successfully catch your limit of fish, focus on the rip currents. I have caught more fish, especially pompano, out of rip currents than any other structure in the surf. The bonus is a structure on land called a point. Points are areas of the beach that jut out into the water. You can use online tools like Google Maps to locate points during your pre-trip planning process. The trough between the point and the sandbar is more narrow and functions as a funnel for the fish. 
These narrow funnels make great areas to place your bait. I've also found that the trough between points usually is a little deeper and also is a prime spot for your set rigs.